Duckies, and Lippy here, back with another OBS tutorial, and this is a brief look at the new update for the Stream Effects plugin. This is currently in Alpha, you can download it straight from the OBS website, all the links are going to be in the description. And this is a nice little addition to the 3D Transform. You guys have seen this sort of thing on streams before, where they've kind of put themselves in different screens in the background, or put, put things wherever they want it, but it can be so difficult to set up. Well now, with a cheeky corner pin feature, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to do, all right? Put your rock with the stone, let's go. Right, so first things first, you're gonna need the Stream Effects plugin, as I mentioned. You can download it straight from this webpage here. It's gonna be in the link down below description. Uh, you just press go to download, and it'll take you over to the GitHub page. If you scroll all the way down, obviously all the patch notes are there, what, what's been added. Just download the Windows EXE versions, because that'll make sure you've got all the prerequisites and everything to make this work, okay? So get that downloaded and get it installed. Make sure when you are installing it that you've not got OBS open, Open, otherwise it won't install correctly once it's installed we can open up OBS I'm gonna be using this image as an example so I want to put my uh, my webcam onto this it doesn't have to be a webcam it can be absolutely anything it could be an image within an image it, it use any video source it could be a gameplay for instance literally the world is your oyster with this one so what I'm gonna do is add in the source that I want to put onto that TV on the wall so I'm gonna right click I'm gonna add in my camera so video capture device, press OK, and I'm going to select the OBS virtual camera, and there we go, I'm in here, I'm just going to make sure that uh, it's centered, I'm just going to zoom out of the canvas as well, I can resize. So the best thing to do is once you've got your uh, source that you want to put onto the wall or whatever surface you want, just make sure that it's completely bigger so you don't want any overhang from anywhere you see how you can see the the wall there so the object that i'm wanting to put it on make sure it's larger there are a few ways that you can get around this by adding extra pixels but i think this is the easiest way of doing it so once the the object that you wanted to put yourself onto or whatever is completely covered all we need to do is go to filters so we're going to add a filter to the camera go to filters and we're going to add an effect filter and we're going to add 3d transform like normally will do but now you've got a really handy corner pin mode so if i just move this slightly out of the way you can see we've got all the corners here top left top right bottom left bottom right all with x and y coordinates so as i start moving this one the x for the top left you can see it starts moving it in same with the y if i start moving it in moving it down and again it can go in negative numbers okay so that's where you need to use extra extra pixels on on the outside it can be a little bit complicated so i prefer to do it this way so we're going to match this corner up on here so roughly we need to be about there and we can move it in a little bit to here so really cool thing as well that you can make sure you do is zoom into your canvas and you can get really close like so so as i start just moving it slightly and you can probably see it's quite um sensitive so what you can use is your scroll wheel if you just click in the end boxes and use your scroll wheel you can see it's slowly starting to move up this side can make really fine adjustments really easily so i'm going to get it nice and snug into that corner there we go that'll do uh, i'm going to move to the top right i obviously look quite strange right now in this plugin so we're going to get the top right and we we'll move it in probably going to be about there we're going to move the y down as well about here we can move this one back in again and again holding the space bar to get the hand i can zoom into the canvas and we can make the minor adjustments by clicking on that box again so we need to go more this way right to the end there it is and we need to go more up so if I, i'm just using the scroll wheel rather than making single adjustments i can use the scroll wheel to do so so I do that until that's all covered. And you can see now we're starting to line up. Obviously, there might need to be a little bit of fine tuning, but you can go in at the end and get that sorted as well. So moving to the bottom left hand corner now. So I want to go down to bottom left, move it in to about there. So it's good to just get a rough guide. And then again, zooming in, select the um, X and the Y at the side there, use the scroll wheel. Oops, I've gone uh, gone down a little bit there by accident. There we go. I keep using the scroll wheel. 
that looks about right and then i can move on to the final corner which is the bottom right one put it in line about there move it up again on the y like so and get zoomed in again to make the fine adjustments there we go and quite a bit on this one but this shows how easy it is using the scroll wheel like this is such a cool little uh, thing that i never see people really do but now when i zoom out i can close this down and when i zoom out i am now on whatever object i wanted on screen and it's that easy to do obviously we can move this around as well and it'll always keep that that edge um and the 3d transform because i'm sure you guys have probably seen it where you use the perspective tool and it's quite complicated the corner pin just allows you to choose each corner straight off the bat so easy to do let me know what you guys think zaymar is doing awesome stuff with this plugin it is so so good so make sure you do go and show him some support if you want to support me then consider joining patreon or the youtube channel members down below just press the little join button from i think it's like 1.99 a month something like that little goes a long way all right guys i'll see you in the next video put your rock up the stone much love I just want to say a huge thanks to all my patrons that help make this content full time, make it free for you guys. And also a huge thanks to all my YouTube members. You, you guys are legends. Thank you so much for everything that you do for me and the community. Keep it up, guys.